This is Ross at Woodfire Power and in this video I'm going to talk about the nutrient water delivery to the overhead nutrient film technology system. So work on any nutrient film technology system delivery it doesn't have to be this overhead design. Um, I wound up with a problem that just plain did not work right. I was using these quarter inch drip line fittings that I glued into the pipe and it worked pretty well but what would happen is that small diameter hole would plug every once in a while. It was easy to clear out but every time it plugged I if I didn't catch it within an hour or two I would lose 15 plants and that's just not tolerable. So I bought a hundred of these grommets from American Hydroponics and I don't know if you can see or notice but they have a conical shape in the inside diameter. It's not a straight cylinder. It's like two um, intersecting cones that come in and basically have a point or a ridge, mountain ridge at the center that grabs onto the quarter inch strip line tubing. And what you do is drill the uh, feed supply out with a 3 8 inch diameter hole then you press this grommet into that hole which I need two hands to do so I'm not going to do it and then with that in there you press the quarter inch strip line into this grommet and the grommet holds it in position that way you can pull the tubing out, push it in. Here's an example. Um, so it's pretty snug and yet you can pull it out and push it back in and have it seal on the quarter inch drip line. Now the nice thing is that I then wind up with the entire diameter of the quarter inch drip line whereas with these guys let me get this position I was winding up with that kind of a diameter so you can see that the drip line tubing ID the the nipple ID is about a sixteenth of an inch whereas the actual drip line is a quarter of an inch so by using this grommet you get that full inside diameter of the quarter inch strip line and I am hoping, I doubt, I'm going to have any plugs with that. If you wanted to do it I suppose you could combat the plugging problem from the other end. This is the sump pump that I'm using. It's a um, well it's the one that I had them put into um, Peaceful Valley Farm and Garden Supplies Aquaponics sections, 500 gallon per hour pump, uh, Model 5, I don't know, you can find it in a bunch of different places. But anyway, this filter that they have is not adequate to filter out fines and prevent plugging if you're using those um, drip line nipples. So you either have to put a different filter on the thing or just go with a grommet. You could find a grommet for about a nickel probably at a hardware store if you could find one that will work. Otherwise um, you can do what I did and just purchase these guys from American Hydroponics at about 50 cents a piece. So for 100 tubes that's fifty dollars and it's just too much work to chase around and try to find something and try it out and see if it'll work. This way I've got the full ID and I've got a part that looks like it's made good and very well. So anyway have a great week. This is Ross at Wood Firepower.